What's up guys, I'm coming at you today with another bluegrass flat picking lick, this time from Tony Rice. Tony Rice is the, one of the most influential acoustic guitarists, really of any genre. His style crosses over into jazz, country, bluegrass, rock, you name it. He has the vocabulary for it. He's hugely influential. And actually, Alison Krauss, one of the you know, great all-time bluegrass musicians, world-class performer, said that the first time she was ever starstruck is when she saw Tony Rice. And Tony Rice really created a vocabulary for modern bluegrass picking and you know, soloing in kind of a flat picking bluegrass style. So I picked up this lick off of, I think, a version of Gold Rush in the key of A, and he played it right at the end of the phrase for that song. So I hope you enjoy it, and let's check it out. All right, let's take a look at this Tony Rice lick. This is in the key of G, and we're playing out of the G position. And like Tony Rice likes to do, we're playing out of kind of the pentatonic blues scale. Uh, we're using a lot of pentatonic notes, a lot less major notes, because that's just kind of how Tony Rice plays. So right off the bat, we're starting with an upstroke on the open G string. And I'm playing this with my middle finger, for the most part. So we're starting with that upstroke on the open G, to a downstroke on the second fret D string. And if you really want to get that signature Tony Rice sound, make sure you're picking close to the bridge here, especially when you're playing this riff fast. And it'll give you that nice signature Tony Rice sound and speed. Okay, and right here when we hit that open B, you'll see that open B there on the upstroke. This is kind of a, a real sig signature Tony Rice move here, where he hits that open B, and then he's going to play a chromatic run. So he's going to play all the notes, he's going to hit every single fret, following that open B, in an ascending pattern. So he's going to go open, down stroke one, up stroke two, and then we're going to do a little hammer on there on the 3rd fret B string. Okay, and after we hit that third fret B string off that hammer on, so we're going. This is another real signature Tony Rice move right here, where he goes from the third fret B string to the third fret E string on an upstroke. So after that hammer on, he's going. Okay, those are two upstrokes, so you're doing the, the hammer on an upstroke from the 2nd fret B string to the 3rd fret B string. And then you're playing another upstroke on the 3rd fret E string. So you're kind of rolling your finger. And 
This is definitely the hardest move of the entire lick right here. So you should just practice that part. So just pa practice the chromatic run starting with the upstroke on the open B. So just practice that. Just those five notes. Okay, and continuing on, we're gonna roll our finger coming out of that hammer on on the double upstroke. So we're gonna play an upstroke on the hammer on from the second fret B string to the third fret B string. And then we're gonna roll our finger up to the third fret E string on an upstroke. Okay, and then after that, we're gonna roll our finger back down to the third fret B string again and play a downstroke. So this is just some signature Tony Rice moves here. So starting with the chromatic walk up, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, right after you come off of that chromatic run, where you're rolling your ring finger from the third fret B string up to the third fret E string, and then back to the third fret B string. So you're doing this kind of a roll. Of course, you're coming off of a hammer on, which makes it a little bit more challenging. So you're going. And it helps too to really pay attention and listen to and watch Tony Rice's playing so you can kind of see where he's accenting all these different notes and where the syncopation is and where he's picking faster and what notes he's actually accenting. And that'll give you a, a kind of a, a nice bluegrass lead vocabulary. At the end there you'll see that there's a slide going uh, between the two measures so it's going in between measures one and two off the third fret G to the fourth fret G on a downstroke so that's going to be your transition lick right there where it slides up from the third fret to the fourth fret Okay, let's check out measure number one, start to finish. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four. Okay, let's look at measure number two now. So in measure number two, like I was saying earlier, we're coming off of that slide up on the G string third fret to the fourth fret. It's gonna sound like that. So after we come off of the... Okay, you're kind of doing a slide up there. So at the end of measure number one, you're gonna have an upstroke on the B string first fret to a downstroke on the third fret G string, and you're gonna play that twice. So you're gonna go... And then right there, when you hit that second, third fret G string, you're going to slide up to the fourth fret. To open. And that's another Tony Rice kind of signature move there, signature sound. Of course, it's Tony Rice lick, so it's chock full of Tony Rice sounding transitions and runs. And it's, it's, you're kind of in position already to do that because when you got your, your ring finger on the third fret G string, all you got to do is just slide up and pull and kind of let off. So you're, you're, you're not doing a pull off, but you're, you're sliding up on a downstroke and you're just taking your finger off. You're not doing a pull off to an upstroke on the open G. Okay, and right after that open G upstroke, you're going with your ring finger to the third fret D string and you're playing a pull off on a downstroke to open. So it's an open pull off. So you're playing third fret D string to open on a pull off. And a pull off obviously is where you, you kind of, you're almost plucking the string with your left hand, with your ring finger on your left hand, you're kind of almost plucking the string while you're picking it with your right hand, you're almost plucking the string with your left hand. And after you do that pull off, you're gonna hit that open G. So it's gonna be a, a pull off on the third fret D string to open, to open G. You're gonna let that kind of ring out. real signature Tony Rice type of sound as well. All right, so let's practice that transition between the first and the second measures. And we're gonna start with the upstroke on the first fret B string. So we're gonna play this. You see those two, first fret B string to third fret G string. So we're gonna play those two. We're gonna do the slide up on the G string, third fret to fourth fret. And then we're gonna work on that pull off on the third fret D string to open. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know, and Tony Rice tends to do, you know, pull-offs in situations like this. Uh, a Doc Watson or a Norman, Norman Blake might actually end up picking it. Like that. So you, you can kind of decide how you want to play that. You can play that what, however it feels natural for you. But if you're playing it at great speed, you know, it, it's beneficial to do the pull-off. You can play a lot faster that way. Okay, and after that pull-off, we're going into kind of a standard bluegrass lick here. 
which is that we've covered many times, and that's the first fret A string to second fret. Okay, so you're doing a slide up from the first fret A string to the second fret. I like to do this with my middle finger. And then you're just playing an upstroke on the open D to a downstroke on the open G. All right, so now let's practice the end of measure number one, going into measure number two, and we'll play measure number two all the way through. So we're gonna start with that upstroke on the B string first fret to downstroke on the G string third fret. And we're gonna do the slide up. So we're gonna start with that. One, two, three, four. 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 All right, now let's play measures one and two. Let's play the entire lick all the way through. Okay, so we're starting with that open G and an upstroke to second fret D string to open D. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three, four. 